first thing you're thinking about is why the hat you're indoors shouldn't shouldn't wear a hat but it's cold so I'm wearing a hat and the next thing you're thinking is what is this video about you might have gotten the clue from the title it is about my little Fujifilm X-T2 video setup it's super simple the X-T2 is a really compact camera it is not big it is quite small actually uh, and I've seen some people rig really small cameras up in humongous rigs and stabilizers where you walk around like a zombie but I really like the compact setup where you don't get too noticed and if you stay like this you'll get quite a lot of attention of course the first thing you do is remember to load the, the battery that's pretty important and the battery grip is pretty essential you could record video without battery grip or the booster grip as they call it but it has space for two additional batteries mirrorless camera with uh, two EVFs working it takes some power it sucks more than uh, your usual DSLR camera unless that DSLR camera is used for video where it also uses the, the display on the back and that is what sucks a lot of power nice for portrait photography but as this is for video, everything goes like this, of course. Yeah. A lens that I found that was pretty damn good for video was this big ass 16 to 55 f2.8. It's quite good for video. The definition is really good in the pictures on, on 4K video. So this goes on this. But before I put this on, I'll rig this up a bit more. Problem with video with a camera this small is that it doesn't take a lot of movement to make a lot of shake and the sensor is unstabilized and I sort of like that because it makes better image quality. You don't have a sensor that moves without the lens moving with it. So I think uh, outside stabilization is always the better option if you want really good quality of the image. To avoid a lot of shake and especially uh, in this direction I'll use this one. This is, uh, I don't even know the name of this one, it's Sakuto something potato thingy that is more or less a shoulder stabilizer. This one goes on this one. I'll just have to align it. Next up this, and you can flip it out like this. This is usually coming all the way out here, but with such a small camera and I like to use the eye cup, I just keep it here. There was a handle here, but I see no idea in having the hand all the way down here while using it. So goes here like this, and then this red just tightens it up. And then I have a neat little fixture to keep this camera from having this movement. It doesn't take away movement like this, but it helps quite a bit, especially if you're holding the, the lens. So so now we have it what i like to use outside is an adjustable nd filter so i like to keep everything manual because i don't want auto iso auto anything because it just starts thinking on its own and i'd like to be in charge of what's going on i use an nd filter for exposure and i use this one it's a helio pan it's pretty even it doesn't alter my colors in a bad way you can manipulate the white balance and make video shoots in the, the cold north with cold light much warmer and this one actually helps makes it a bit browner and I like brown goes in this sometimes if there's direct sun I put on the lens hood but if not I don't because it becomes quite annoying to handle this one and this is where I handle my exposure I usually shoot 4k in uh, 24p a shutter speed oh, 1 50th of a second or below and then I just set the exposure right here for ambient sound and noise I just use a small microphone it's this little you Americans say road in Denmark we say over it's just a micro something potato I don't really remember the name of it but it functions pretty well doesn't take up too much space and sits well on the camera but you do tend to stick your forehead to this one so that's a compromise I can tilt my head and get a proper view and I'm left-eyed so I just have to deal with that <laughs> if I use the display I like to do this with the Sakura and put it up a bit further out because I'm far-sighted 
any guy over 40 becomes farsighted more or less and this makes it easier to actually use the screen one way to rehearse not shaking too much is actually filling a small cup with water and walk around with it so you sort of get this like carrying an egg on a spoon and i think this is a really cool little setup it's still super compact it folds neatly it's easy in this camera just to change these two batteries but if you're in a studio environment you don't want to spend too much battery especially not inside so they ship this thing with the booster grip you just power it from there and it will actually charge the batteries and power the whole setup let's uh, call it one and gun video setup super compact usable next step for me is trying to find a system with a stabilizer that is equally compact i have tried and i used the ronin m this makes it's too big i really want to find a much more compact setup i've seen quite a lot of these gimbals and most of them just block the rear display and it sort of defies the purpose i mean how are you going to be able to frame anything if you can't see the screen then you have to buy a five inch seven inch monitor and put on top of it and then you're suddenly weighing way too much the whole idea and the whole concept of compact cameras <laughs> should be keeping it compact i mean why not why build these humongous rigs the great thing about compact cameras is that you can, you can go places that is hard to get in with huge camera rigs. This is not an Arri, this is not a RED camera. This is a still camera with video possibilities. And it's pretty damn good. It surprised me of the image quality. You can make so much great footage with this. My mission is to find very compact, stabilized rig setups with this. And this is the first one, it's, this is the handheld version. And my next mission is to find the perfect handheld stabilizer for the Fujifilm X-T2 in this format. I think it's about two kilos with this lens. It has to be a compact gimbal stabilizer, something. Even if I have to build it myself, I'll find a way. That was it for me. Go try it. See you later.